Waiting for someone? Nobody in particular. Oh. Just this guy, tall, curly hair, pretty cute. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's like your boyfriend? Boyfriend? I don't know, I haven't seen him for months and he hardly ever calls. Wow. Guy sounds like a real jackass. You sure you want to keep seeing him? Like I said, he's pretty cute. Missed you, you jerk. I know, I missed you too. It's so good to see you again. I just wish I could stay longer. Well, I'm sure we can pack a lot into the next few days together. Sure, totally. Let's go by uh, Marco and Ellie's. They've got this welcome home party or something. That was awesome. Did you write that? That one I wrote on a ferry to Vancouver Island. It's a long story. I love the allusions to Melville. Wow, you picked up on that? <laughs> the night's young. Let's hear another. Yeah, man, for sure. I know you say you've been a passing by, but I just saw you drowning on a ship tonight. Well, you were pretty busy. Everyone needs some Craig. Well, I don't care about everybody. I care about you. So, can I help? I don't know. Too late. Um, I just don't want you to get hurt. I already got hurt, remember? He left and he hasn't come back. Okay, what if you try it angrier? Well, that was my first instinct, but I thought I couldn't pull it off. Of course you can. Just try it. He left, and he hasn't come back. Don't ever doubt your instincts, Manny. You're good. I gotta go. I'll come with you. I'm sure you have more important music stuff you need to do. Well, I got a, a sound check for a show tonight, but this is more important. Come on, let's grab a cab. Across town? It'll cost a fortune. It's on me. Don't worry about it. Gigi, Isabel is sick. They sent her home from daycare. I spent all night writing this Waiting for Godot presentation, and now the period's half over. It's too bad the daycare so far. But I mean, Quan will give you extension. Yeah, she might. If she hadn't have already given me two already. Listen, um, leave Isabella with me. I have a spare this morning. JT, are you sure? I, I wouldn't usually do this, but it's not like there's any daycares near here I could bring her to. And I wish there was one here, but I might as well keep dreaming. Seriously, Mia, go bandit like Beckett. We'll be great. You're not like any boy I know. Well, then you can make it up to me. Hot date tonight at the dock? <sighs> Good. Hey there. You know the best part about being sick? Popsicle! Mm. Hi, Donnie. Guys, you are looking at a future acting legend. Manny just nailed her audition. Thanks to my acting guru, Craig. Hey, if you land that part, that's a big deal. West Drive is huge. You like earnest teen melodramas filled with woefully bad writing. Well, it ain't no say by the bell, huh? And speaking of which, L, I think it's time we went to get our screech on. I wish I could have seen that audition. I bet you killed it. I just wish I could do it again so I can get more of this buzz. Man, I live for that buzz. Sometimes when I'm on stage, I think it's my job to make them remember just one chord, one moment. That's exactly how I feel. That's why you're my girl.
Mia, you look pretty. Oh, thanks. Do you want to sit down? JT hasn't come yet. So, where's Isabella? Uh, she's at home with my mom. She sure is cute. Charms everyone. Well, except for when she's being a nightmare. Anyway, uh, how are you? You seem a little bit tense. Oh, uh, just in a quiet mood, you know? Sure. It's not usually quiet enough in my head. Yeah, it's uh, far too quiet in my life. Although a child would change that. Like when you're a parent someday? Oh, uh, no, I already am. Gave him up for adoption last year. Oh, I, wow, I, I didn't know. Yeah, I, I don't usually talk about it much. After JT sold drugs to support us and almost committed suicide, I, I really had no choice but to give him up. Yeah, what? Oh, he didn't tell you? Typical. Ouch. Are you okay? How's Bella? I, I was so worried and then your cell wasn't on. Solution? Don't call. But Mia, at, at least tell me what's wrong. You couldn't tell me the truth about your life? About your baby? Liberty talked to you? And you didn't. You stole drugs? Look, uh, you don't know the whole story. I trusted you with my daughter. And you still should. Okay, Liberty and her parents gave up the baby, and it, it, it still drives me crazy. Is the drug stuff true? Prescription. But Liberty didn't want to stay at home, so we had to get some extra cash. Liberty's not the problem here, JT. You are. So excited. I bet he's gonna be so great tonight. He's music personified, yada da. I know. But Em, we so completely get each other. It's so good. A couple of days ago, you were pretty down on the guy. You changed. We just reconnected. I can't explain it, Sean. It's magic. Oh. Great. She's here. Greg Shadow. You worry too much about her. Well, not tonight. Tonight, no one can bring me down. Not even smelly McSnooty pants. Special delivery. I have that man from Santos here. Hey, I'm so happy to see you. All right, man, you're up. Aren't you going to say anything? Break a leg, I guess. Too close to the sun. I chase the whale on the run, but I'm I'm jumping from mountains and I'm jumping from skies. I try to realize my size. Are you okay? You were a bouncy love bunny ten minutes ago. What's going on? I can't see. I'm gonna move up. What you feel when you see I'm drowning in the sea Drowning close to me That was awesome, man. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks, Ben. <laughs> You're a genius. Stop it. <laughs> was that what you were asking about drowning allegories last month? Oh. <laughs> you, you caught it. Again. Man, I can't get anything past you, Ellie. You're so, mm, you're so keyed into what I'm doing. Well, it was perfect, especially in that melancholy key. Listen, I'm going to do a profile on you for the core. Wait, hang on, Elle. Manny, are you OK? We didn't get a chance to talk, and it was so Great that you came backstage, and not for a second that I want you to think that I do that. 
It's fine. I just have a spirit squad at the crack of dawn. I couldn't stand it if you were upset. I could see your eyes shining the whole time I played. You're incredible. Go get congratulated. We need to talk. You should have thought about that weeks ago. Mia, I'm sorry. I should have told you the whole truth, but I just was scared you'd bail on me. You know I'm not judgmental. I know. That's one of the things that I love about you. You just, you need to forgive me, please. Look, I, I can't do this right now. I'm tired and I, I'm stressed. Isabel's sick again. I had to leave her with my aunt. I've been thinking. I think that there should be a daycare at Degrassi. And I should be Lindsay Lohan. No, I'm serious. You said yourself it was a good idea. I really think that's what the school needs. And this isn't about you trying to suck up to me? No. It's about me doing the right thing. And I'm gonna do it. The pout is officially out of fashion, so speak. What's up? West Drive went in another direction, which probably means they cast some tall blonde with long legs. West Drive's mess drive. That show is so issue of the week. I have my own issue of the week. Craig, he's not the same. Seems like the same old rock star to me, just more sure of himself. Yeah, that's the problem. Ego? Groupies? Is this an Ellie thing? No, it's definitely Craig. Well, I'll tell you what I've learned. If you want the guy, you take the flaws. See Cameron, comma, Sean. This is a different problem than you had with Sean. Way. Well, Craig is crazy about you and your shining eyes, remember? Maybe I need to remind him. True love is worth fighting for. I need to say some stuff. Say away. Last night with the... You said it didn't bother you. I lied. Craig, it does. Why? Why do you do it? When I get nervous, it's like my synapses have a party. I need a little confidence boost sometimes. How often is sometimes? Please, I've done it like twice. It's no big deal, believe me. I didn't get the part on West Drive. Oh, man, their loss. You're a star. Listen, uh, Ellie's having a dinner party tonight, and I want you to come. If Ellie sees me here, she'll probably poison the food. Man, you gotta get over her. She makes me feel dumb when I speak. I'm not smart like she is. Yeah, you are. You're just not book smart. Who cares? I mean, seriously, you're, you're brilliant in every other way. So comforted right now. Manny, I'm crazy about you. That should be all the comfort you need. A donation will be made in Degrassi's name. And uh, council will now hear new business. I propose that Degrassi should have an on-site daycare. Benefits would be plentiful for both staff and students with children, That's as well as... Next. J wait a minute. I haven't even finished my pitch. You don't have to. I already know it's foolish and ill-conceived. What about building codes, JT? What about uh, child height counters? Facilities, a playground. Come on. Toby, help me out. Um, maybe you should let him finish his pitch. Or not. Next, moving on. Uh, wait. Just hear me out. Our community can benefit from this. You mean your girlfriend can? Yeah, and? And so this isn't practical for Degrassi, especially since the daycare wouldn't even open for two years. Look. This is personal, not serious. Next. 
Is this Earth? You're the one making it personal. It's a good idea. We don't take pitches from irresponsible slackers with ill-researched schemes. I guess not, since judgmental robots make the decisions. A Degrassi daycare could make life easier for students. For one student. Liberty, you of all people know I'm not alone. It could help, eventually. So just to clarify here, the reason that you once supported the grassy daycare is purely selfish. Is that right, Ms. President? Yeah, but it was his Ooh. choice. Mm -hmm. Well, Rousseau did say man's choices are limited. Mm -hmm. Man is born free, but everywhere is in change. Mm -hmm. Only true if he's part of society. Yeah, well, you can't not be, though. It's not exactly optional. <laughs> <laughs> so true, so, so true. Manny, you studied Rousseau? No. Um, not exactly. He was, uh, he was a big 18th century thinker. Ellie sent me one of his books when I was on the road. Uh, how nice. Well, uh, Ellie and I have been taking intro to psych, and uh, Young says that we all have, like, massive complexes. Mm, no kidding. Neurosis rules! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Manny, what do you think? Um, someone told me that Woody Allen was a perfect on-screen neurotic. Uh-huh. Well, I don't have any neuroses, of course. <laughs> really, because I thought being constantly rejected by guys would mess you up, Ellie. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I feel bad that I take time to meet guys who actually like me. Oh, dear. In fact, I don't know how I made it through high school without having my breast shown online. Where are you going? Did you hear what she said? Yeah, but you started it. I mean, why can't you just get over her? Because she's smarter than me, she's funnier than me, she's everything that I'm not. Keep believing it, Manny, it's real attractive. They won't let me into their little club. Manny, you're spontaneous, you're bright, and you're my girl, why can't you just be yourself? Maybe I just need a little boost. Where is it? What are you talking about? Well, Show me. What? No. Why? Because then I can talk with all your smart friends. These are people you want to spend time with, right? Oh, come on. This is your club. I want in. I get the part because it all that matters is how I present myself in the long term. That's what my agent says. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, you have to get them to remember you. Yeah, because who wants to be yet another dumb, boring actress? Right, Ellie? <laughs> Anyways, I told her, just cast me as the funny girl, you know? I said that to her. It's smart, you have to get noticed, right? Oh my god. <laughs> I love you so much. Right? Oh. 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 Oh, no. Oh, my God. Get it on. Oh. oh. <laughs> this is... In, in, Manny, it's, you know, Manny, it's, it's so really sorry. fine. It's... I am so sorry. Wait, okay. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> What was that yesterday? You dismissed everything I said, very professional. And then you bailed. You don't even know what words like that mean, man child. What was irresponsible? Supporting you, begging you to go to the doctors, backing you when you gave him up, even though he was my son too? You know what you're saying. What I'm saying is that I'm happy. And that makes you burn. Why? You're ridiculous. No, I'm right. Okay, I have a right to be happy. So stop trying to make me as miserable as you are. Good 
Good morning. I'm late. And so much less chatty than you were last night. Shocking. Hell, I don't know how this happened. What happened? What's going on? I never thought it would get bad so fast. Craig, are you doing coke? Manny is. 